I'm Philip Saxon, and I'm Philip Saxon, and we are Relaxing Realism. We are standing in the set of Element.Element, .Element, which is a series that we are working on uh, involving a set with different props that we've accumulated uh, in different yard sales, and this particular photograph that we're working on right now is Water.Air. And there's 12 permutations of all the elements in this series. This is the third photograph that we're working on right now. Now, what we're trying to do here is uh, we're going to be dropping this manhole cover using an electromagnet uh, that's up on a beam above. And it's going to drop into a pool of water that's going to be this kiddie pool of water. is going to be filled to about right here. And we're hoping for a giant splash that's going to hit this remote controlled helicopter. So the idea symbolically is that the water is really overtaking the helicopter, which is a symbol for air. So we're, we're, this is a different take on symbolism uh, and the elements. Uh, everything in here has its own um, uh, meaning, pro probably obvious are all the birds. Uh, and the graphics of the the, water, the the leaves looking like they're water going up. So everything here uh, is intentional. Now James is going to explain how some of this stuff uh, works on a technical level, and I'm going to take the camera. So one of the challenges that we're facing is that to capture the moment of a splash of this magnitude, of any magnitude really, it's all about timing. Now, to freeze the motion of the water, what we're going to do is we're going to darken the space down, and then we're going to fire, open the, the shutter of the camera and fire a strobe at just the right moment. Now, to orchestrate that, what we're going to do, and I'll show you behind the scenes this way, is that we are going to have a digital transmitter on the camera. So when you take the picture, the shutter opens, we're going to have it set to maybe half a second. That, leads to this receiver here, which triggers this box that I made out of Arduino and junk microwaves. And what this does is that it takes that signal, tells the electromagnet to turn off, at which point that cover, that steel cover, is going to start to fall. And then there's a timer that will count. And at the end of the count, it fires the strobe. And that's what's going to light the set and freeze the motion hopefully all exactly at the correct moment. The nice thing about it being digital is that we can then fine tune from there and find the right uh, point of splash to get the correct image. 